Yes, are some divisions that we can do without using the rule. They're called sharing divisions. That means that you can think about sharing between so many people. For example, you can think of a pie or pizza. There's four fifths of a pizza left, and you're going to share it between two people. How much does each person get? Each person will get two slices, right? So each person gets two fifths. You can also check this answer by multiplication, because division and multiplication are opposite operations. So I can go this times this and check if I get four fifths, you know? Two fifths times two. Is it four fifths? And show sure it is. Another example, six eighths divided by three, and there's a picture. We have this much pizza left and three people are sharing it. How much does each person get? Each person gets two eighths, two slices, of course. Again, you can check it by multiplying. 2 eighths times 3 equals this. Yes, it does. You just go backwards this way and multiply. 10 twelfths divided by 5. That's 10 slices. And then 5 people are sharing them. So how many slices does each person get? 2 slices, and they are twelfths. Oh, similarly here, there's 9 slices now, and 3 people are sharing, so every person gets 3 slices, and they are tenths. Each slice is a tenth. One and one third. Let's write this as a fraction first. Four thirds. And now it is easy to divide by two. You have four slices and two people sharing. So each person gets two thirds. Two slices that are thirds. Oh, here we first change this into a fraction. Three times seven is 21 plus four is 25. So we have 25 slices. So they are sevenths and divide that by five. So each person gets five slices, and they are sevenths. This won't work just with any random mixed number, okay? But with some, it does. It has to go evenly here. The division has to be even. Now let's look at some more where it is not. It doesn't look like an even division problem. Like for example, one fourth divided by two. We can use the same idea that if you have one fourth of a pizza left and two people are sharing it, how much of the pizza does each person get? See. Each person will get, you know, this much. What size of slice is it? What fraction is that? Okay, you can probably see it. Divide every single other piece here into two, and you'll see that it is now one eighth. Or here, one third divided by five. Let's just divide this into five new pieces. Each person will get this much, but what kind of part is it? What fraction is it? Well, if you divided this into 5 and this into 5 too, you would see that there would be 15 slices, right? And so one colored, so it's 1 15th. And you might notice with these kind of problems that, hey, this is kind of like 4 times 2 type of business, right? This is the same problem as 1 fourth times 1 half. Or this is the same problem as 1 third times 1 fifth. You know, it's like finding 1 fifth over 1 third. Or 1 half over 1 fourth. After some of this, we will arrive to the rule of fraction division, which has to do with multiplication. Each division will be changed into a multiplication by the reciprocal. And here's one more of those. One half divided by three. Well, here it is, one of these. So the answer is one sixth, which is the same as one half times one third. Or one sixth divided by three, this one slice into 3, and then one of those is 1 18th, which is the same as 1 6th times 1 3rd. Here's a few challenges of a similar line of thinking. 2 thirds divided by 5. Now we can't divide it evenly, easily. But what you can do is you can take each third and divide that into 5 parts. So this third divided into 5 parts. Okay? Let's say I have five people sharing this pie. So I give this slice to one person, and then from this third, I divide that into five parts too. You know, each person will get a little slice from here and a little slice from here, right? And this little slice is one fifteenth. So each person will get two fifteenths. And similarly here, 5 sixths divided by 3, it looks like it's not an even division, not easy to do. 
But what we do is, let's just divide each sixth into three. Okay? And uh, so, then each person will get one slice, one teeny slice, out of each third. This teeny slice, and this slice, and this, and this, and this. So, from this sixth, each person would get one little slice, and one little slice is now one eighteenth, right? That's one eighteenth. So they're going to get one, two, three, four, five eighteenths. 